everybody? Do you know what I am? You're like a spider. A spider, that's right. And I'm going to tell you a story about my cousin, and Nancy. And Nancy the spider lives in the forest. You already knew it. You already knew that? What kind of animals live in the forest? A lion. A lion. Brooklyn, do you know? A snake. A snake. A rhino. A rhino. A hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. Good job, guys. You know what lives in the forest. So we're going to talk about how a Nancy, my cousin, he's a trickster. He plays Trick tricks. tricks. Yeah, okay. he doesn't play nice tricks though. He plays mean tricks on people. Yeah. Does anybody know what moss is? Have you ever seen moss? Yeah. It grows on trees sometimes. You'll see the green on the side of the trees and on some rocks. It's like a green plant that grows on rocks. And yes, green plant. Good. And what about yams? Mm -hmm. What's another word for yams? Anybody have yams? Sweet potatoes? Sweet potatoes. Do you ever have a sweet potato at Thanksgiving? They're orange potatoes? Because one of our characters have some yams. Another character is very shy. What does that mean? If they're shy. They don't like to the talk and they're afraid. Good. They don't like to talk. They're quiet. And how about stolen? If something's stolen, what is it? Me. Me. It's taken away, huh? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're going to start the story now. This is called A Nancy and the Moss Covered Rock by Eric Kimmel. Once upon a time, a Nancy the spider was walking, walking, walking through the forest when something caught his eye. It was a strange moss covered rock. How interesting, Nancy said. Isn't this a strange moth-covered rock? Kabong! Everything went black. Down fell Nancy, senseless. An hour later, Nancy woke up. His head was spinning. He wondered what had happened. I was walking along the path when something caught my eye. I stopped and said, isn't this a strange moss-covered rock? Kapong! <laughs> Down fell a Nancy again. But this time, when he woke up an hour later, he knew what was happening. What do you think was happening? Um, the rock was knocking him out? Yeah, somehow the rock was knocking him out. Aha, said a Nancy, this is a magic rock. And whenever anyone comes along and says the magic words, isn't this a strange hmm, 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 down he goes. This is a good thing to know, a Nancy said. And I know just how to use it. How do you think he's going to use this? Huh? He found out it's a magic rock, and it makes people Not go to nothing. sleep. What's he going to do with it? Wake up. Okay, let's see. Let's <laughs> see what a Nancy's going to do. So, a Nancy went walking, walking, walking through the forest <laughs> the until he came to Lion's house. Lion was sitting on his porch. At his feet was a great pile of yams. A Nancy loved yams, but he was too lazy to dig them up himself. A Nancy said to Lion, Hello, Lion. It is very hot today, don't you think so? Yes, a Nancy said, Lion. It is 
terribly hot. I am going for a walk in the cool forest, said Nancy. Would you like to come? I certainly would, said Lion. So Lion and Nancy went walking, walking, walking through the forest. After a while, a Nancy led Lion to a certain place. Lion, do you see what I see? Oh, yes, a Nancy, said Lion. Isn't this a strange moss-covered rock? Kabum! Down fell Lion. A Nancy ran back to Lion's house and made off with Lion's yams. Oh, why do you think a Nancy took Lion's yams, Brooklyn? It stole them. He stole them. Yeah. He was too lazy to pick them himself. <laughs> An hour later, Lion woke up. His head was spinning. A Nancy was nowhere in sight. And when he got home, he found that every single one of his yams was gone. Lion was very sad. Yeah, and then the other pig's going to walk in banana. But a Nancy was very happy. He couldn't wait to play his trick again. Once more, a Nancy went walking, walking, walking through the forest. This time, he stopped at Elephant's house. Elephant was sitting on his porch. At Elephant's feet was a great pile of bananas. And Nancy loved bananas. Do you love bananas too? Yeah. Yeah. But he was too lazy to pick them himself. So he said to Elephant, Hello, Elephant. Isn't it hot today? It is, Elephant agreed. I am going for a walk in the cool forest, Nancy said. Would you like to come? That sounds nice, said Elephant. Thank you for inviting me, Nancy. What do you think Nancy's going to do? Take his bananas. Take his bananas. Oh, let's bananas. see. <laughs> so Nancy and Elephant went walking, walking, walking through the forest. After a while, a Nancy led Elephant to a certain place. Elephant, look, do you see what I see? Elephant looked. Yes, I do, a Nancy. Isn't this a strange moss-covered rock? Kabum! <laughs> Down fell Elephant. A Nancy ran back to Elephant's house and made off with all the bananas. Hey, <laughs> take it, the bananas. What did, it, what did Nancy do? What did he do? He took his bananas. He took his bananas. Do you think he's going to do it some more? Is yeah. he going to steal? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's see. An hour later, Elephant woke up. His head was spinning. And Nancy was nowhere in sight. And when he got home, he found that every single one of his bananas was gone. <gasps> gone? Elephant was very sad. <laughs> but a Nancy was very happy. He couldn't wait to play his trick again. He played it on rhinoceros. And hippopotamus and giraffe and zebra. He played it on every single animal in the forest. But all this time, watching from behind the trees, look, was little bush deer. Little bush deer is small and shy. And very hard to see. She watched a Nancy play his wicked trick again and again on all the other animals. Little Bush Deer decided it was time for a Nancy to learn a lesson. How do you think she is going to make a Nancy learn a lesson? What's she going to do? Is she going to trick a Nancy? Yeah! yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Little bush deer went deep, deep, deep into the forest where the coconut trees grow. She climbed the coconut tree and threw down a great many coconuts. She carried them back to her house and set them on her porch. Then she sat down beside them to wait. Hey, and I'll, mm -hmm, just hold me. on to it. In a little while, along came a Nancy. A Nancy's yeah. eyes lit up when he yeah. saw a little bush deer's coconut. A Nancy loved coconut. He loved to eat the tender white coconut meat and drink the sweet coconut milk inside. But he was much too lazy to gather the coconuts himself. Instead, he said, Hello, little bush deer. It is so hot today. Little bush deer smiled. It is very hot, Nancy. I am going for a walk in the cool forest. Would you like to come? Yeah. Yes, I would, said Little Bush Deer. So Nancy and Little Bush Deer went walking, walking, walking in the cool forest. After a while, Nancy led Little Bush Deer to a certain place. <clears throat> little Bush Deer, look over there. Do you see what I see? Little Bush Deer knew all about Nancy's trick. She looked. No, Nancy, I don't see anything. You must see it. Look very carefully. Little Bush Deer looked. No, I still don't see anything, she said. And Nancy began to get angry. You must see it. Look over here. Look right here where I'm pointing. Do you see it now? No, Nancy, said Little Bush Deer. And Nancy stamped his legs. You see it? You just don't want to say it. Say what? said Little Bush Deer. You know. Is that what I'm supposed to say? Yeah. Yes, said Nancy. All right, then I will say it to make you happy. You know, said Little Bush Deer. There, I said it. Are you satisfied? No, Nancy shouted. You're not supposed to say you know. What am I supposed to say? You're supposed to say, isn't this a strange moss-covered rock? Go, pum, down fell a Nancy. Little Bush Deer ran and got all the other animals. Together they went to a Nancy's house and took back all the good things he had stolen from them. So why do you think Little Bush Deer, what did she do? What did she do? I didn't see what Tim said. Okay, and? Tripped a Nancy. Tripped a Nancy, yeah. And then she told all the other animals, huh? So they could go get their stuff back, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. An hour later, a Nancy woke up. His head was spinning. Little Bush Deer was nowhere in sight. And when he got home, he found his house as empty as it was before. But if you think a Nancy learned his lesson, you're mistaken because he's still playing tricks to this very day. Did yeah. a Nancy learn a lesson? No. 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 How do you know? Because he's still doing it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Brooklyn, would you like to play with the... Fire. All of the stuff. Which yeah. Can I play too? Oh, what do you want to be? The yeah. elephant, the lion, the spider. The spider. Yeah. Okay. Here, let let Brooklyn be the spider. Can you do it? Or did you do it? Fourteen thirty.